Hey citizens, thanks for stopping by. For today's video, let's take a close and personal of this 2020 Cherry Tigo 2. As always guys, I'll take this Cherry Tigo 2 for a full walk around review and showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. So what are you waiting for? Let's sit back, relax and enjoy of this review. First of all, I would like to extend a big thanks and shout out to Cherry Ido Ido for allowing me to review their brand new units. For more information, see the description box below. And guys, I would like to introduce you to one of our friends here in Cherry and Ido. Sir, let me introduce yourself. Hi, uh, I'm Don Cesar Dolientes, uh, sales executive here at Cherry and Ido. If you want to see our Cherry lineup, you can come and visit us here at 38 Lima La Paz, Lino City. Alright guys, uh, let's begin the walk review. So, here's the key, so let's go ahead and get started. So since we are inside at the dealership, we could not able to start this car or starting the engine for now. So let's turn on all of the electronics of the car. The Charity Go2 gets a rack and pinion steering system with electric power assistance. Standard on a 1.58T is a three-spoke leather-wrapped steering wheel with sport grips attendant to, contrast stitching going around the inner rim, chrome highlights that surrounds the horn ring, and mounted controls found at the two steering wheel spokes. With a 1.5-liter naturally aspirated petrol engine, there is a choice of transmission that you have to choose whether it is a 5-speed manual or a 4-speed automatic. Since this was a 4-speed automatic, this transmission is featured with a low gear mode. Standard items are the reverse camera with active guidelines and rear parking sensors. Under the bonnet of the Tigo 2 is a 1.5 liter dual over cam 16 valves and naturally aspirated inline 4 cylinder petrol engine with variable valve timing. The engine performs 106 horsepower at 6000 rpm and 135 newton meters of torque at 2750 rpm. 
Fuel tank size takes 50 liters with compliance of Euro 5. A 5-speed manual or a 4-speed automatic is the transmission choice for this engine and the drivetrain of the Tigo 2 is a front-wheel drive vehicle. In today's time, crossovers are dominating the market based on the customer's high demands. But I found out that some crossovers in other brands retail at the highest amount of price which they are unexpectedly expensive even the high-end variant. Here's the thing. If you're looking for a crossover offered at the lowest amount of price that beats the price of the Honda City or the Toyota Vios, why don't you go for the Charity Go 2 to have a look? The question I want to answer, does the Charity Go 2 is the best alternative to subcompact sedans or other subcompact crossovers like Ford EcoSport and Hyundai Kona? Here's what you need to find out. Launched in the Philippines during the fourth quarter of 2019, the Charity Go 2 is one of the smallest crossovers of the Charity Go lineup like the Tigo 5X, the Tigo 7, and the flagship Tigo 8. Let's start with the looks itself. Unlike its bigger brothers, the Tigo 2 got a simplistic characteristic with a stylish design throughout. Take a look at the front end where you can visualize the decency of its design which makes it simple yet aggressive. While some, you have a distinctive design at the side with an upswept roofline which keeps the car very attractive and modern that combines with a cute design at the back which makes it funkier than ever. Since this is a crossover, skid plates, lower claddings, roof rails, and high ground clearance gives the Tigo 2 a truly rugged look. On its low price point, you don't expect premium quality materials that you can get on any other high-end variants. With the hard touch plastics, it feels pretty cheap but design-wise, it looks modern thanks to modern technology and chrome highlights throughout. Hence, the interior of the Tigo 2 looks more European in style with a simple taste. If you're going to ask me, all Cherry vehicles offer a 10-year warranty overall for free. This includes your PMS, your general vehicle warranty, and your engine train services. Thus, Cherry made a job well done to their best quality vehicles in terms of reliability, durability, and versatility. With a retail price from 695,000 Philippine pesos to 770,000 Philippine pesos, this car will sell like hotcakes. This will be a great benefit for those who want a small crossover with a similar price of a subcompact sedan. Yes, I know that the Kona and the Eco Sport are better, but if you have a budget, then you go for the Tigo 2. To sum it all off, the Cherry Tigo 2 has a straightforward exterior and interior design, very European in style great value for money, and worry-free services. Like I said before, crossovers are dominating the market, but if you're looking for a budget-friendly crossover SUV, Charity Go 2 will be one of your choices. The Philippine Spec Tigo 2 has offered two different variants, 1.5 MT and 1.5 AT topping range. Exterior features are halogen projector headlights, LED daytime running lights, rear fog lights, LED rear lights, a simple honeycomb-like front grille with chrome accents, intermittent wipers front and rear, skid plates all around, lower claddings, indicators on the body-colored side mirrors, body-colored door handles with chrome highlights, roof rails, rear spoiler with high mount stop light, silver garnish at the back with cherry emblem in the middle, and rear parking sensors. In terms of safety, the Cherry Tigo 2 AT are protected by Two airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution brake assist, emergency brake assist, brake override system, electronic stability program, traction control system, hill assist control, ELR seat belts, Isofix child seats and tether anchors for the rear seats, electronic anti-theft, and engine immobilizer. The 16-inch two-tone alley rims are the shoes for the Charity Go 2AT with a tire size of 205-55R16. It does apply with ventilated disc brakes in front and solid disc brakes out back. 
for the suspension. The front gets McPherson struts, while the rear gets torsion beam setup. Speaker down there, bottle holder, storage, window controls, all four windows are fully powered and all the windows on this car are fully automatic down. Central locking button, window lock, headlight adjuster. Uh, toggle, your controls, your driving mode, eco and sport, pull this lever to release our bonnet as I showed you earlier on, pull this lever to release your fuel door, and the driver's seat of this Tigo 2 gets a fully manual adjustments. Got your seat back, height adjuster, and your sliding position controls right here. You have the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side. However, it loses out on a height adjuster. Alright, let's take a look at the interior features of this Tigo 2. Storage area, two cup holders, hand operated parking brake. A 12 volt power outlet that has a maximum of 120 watts of power. USB port right there. Some storage. This button right here turns off or on your traction control. Your rear defrost. Hazard switch in the middle as I showed you earlier on. Got your standard climb control system. Fan speed, temperature, different modes, air conditioning, recirculation. The Cherry Tigoto gets an 8-inch integrated touchscreen head unit system with screen mirroring function, various media connectivity options, and 6 speakers for the sound system.
The sound system of the Tigo 2 works fairly fine. Currently guys, you are in a Bluetooth audio streaming. As you can see, you have your plain pause, seat track, and there's an image of uh, what uh, song that you ever played, and here's the title. Now this is your home menu, where you can find your cherry link, your phone, media, uh, settings, and your radio. Uh, where do we go first? Aha! Uh -huh. Settings. Now on your settings, there are your uh, common, uh, common menu that you ever used, like your brightness, glow screen, your language, home style, and Bluetooth settings. Go to your sound, and here's your sound settings with your default uh, volume, uh, key volume, SDVC, and your loudness. Go to audio, where you can adjust your equalizer settings. Your car info. You can adjust your overspeed alarm, fortified tip, day drive light, time setting, and your system. Go to media and your contacts or should I say yeah your phone book where you can locate your dial contacts uh, call log bluetooth settings and here are your uh, phone keypads and lastly let's go to your cherry link whereby it has featured with a uh, your screen mirroring system via your android uh, phone or your iphone in order to connect your phone to this infotainment display just use uh, this uh, cherry link or there is a shortcut button which is located right here as says this system supports android and ios system please consult the instructions for more help so these are your guide in order to connect your screen mirroring system for the android here are the instructions And if you are a iPhone user, here are the instructions. This one is for the Android user. And that's it of our infotainment system of this Cherry Tigo 2. On the left side of your screen, here are your power button, volume button, band and your mute button while on the right side is your set chair link usb bluetooth connectivity and your telephone button these buttons right here are your shortcut buttons on top of your infotainment system is your air convents Light and indicator controls to the left. And your wipe controls to the right. On the steering wheel, the left spoke has your seek track button, your mode, volume controls, and this button right here controls you to control the multi-information display right within the instrument gauge.
while on the right side is your cruise control. The steering wheel on this car gets a manual tilt only, adjusting using this lever right here. Central locking. No grip handles on this side. The driver's side sun visor does get a vanity mirror. Interior lights right above. Your reading lights. And a manual dimming rear view mirror. The front passenger side sun visor does get a vanity mirror. Grip handle, on, grip handle on the ceiling for the front passenger side. A perfect and small size amount of glove box with your owner's manual as well as your quick start guide and your maintenance manual. All right. So that's it for this one. We can turn it off right now. And continue with our rest of our review. And continue with the rest of our review. And continue with the rest of our review. Bottle holder, some storage, window control, the rear seat back or rear seat backs do fold down in a 60 40 manner. Push this lever right here and drop the seat backs down.
make sure that your seat belt is in front of your seat back so that the seat belt won't obstruct you. I do set the driver's seat in a position that I feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 9 which is about 1.7 meters tall. And I do have the room to stretch out my feet underneath at the driver's seat. As for leg room, I have this much. Well, I have this much in terms of headroom. When it comes to space, the charity go to is not so crampy, it's not so spacious. Although it is, fits just right. And the seats... It's pretty comfortable thanks to its nicely padded leather seats which gives you a nice support to it and at the same time it gives you a comfortable ride. But overall, there's no problem with this uh, back seat of the Charity Go 2. Storage pockets in the front seat backs. No center armrest for this one. But, you do also have a grip handles on the ceiling for both sides for the rear. You do have adjustable headrests, both front and rear. Cargo volume of the Charity Go 2 measures 420 liters when all rear seats are upright. To increase more space, fold down the rear seat backs by using the levers located on the sides of the headrest, as well as removing the cargo cover. Found on the boat are speakers on both sides, a light that illuminates the area, and a spare tire with your toolkit and warning triangle. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this full walk around review of the 2020 Cherry Tigo 2 that is mated to a 4-speed automatic gearbox. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget, follow all of my social media platforms. As always guys, I'll see you next time with four more latest videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching and mabuhay!